an Oscar-nominated superstar whose new film is an action thriller called From Paris with Love. Please welcome back to our show, the great John Travolta. He's a good guy, you know. He just does. I warn you. That lady in the front is a firecracker. You have to be careful of her. She's a seductor. Thank you very much. Should we, uh, should we let John talk a little bit? John, no, I like, I like to learn. John is one of the truly good people Absolutely. Uh, among us. Oh. Just returned from Haiti, flew his uh, jet down there. As a matter of fact, two planes you uh, mm -hmm. got in charge of and, and sent one down, and then you flew another one down That's exactly with supplies right. and doctors and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and the great news on that was that all the supplies that I sent down with the 22 doctors stayed with them, and 90% of it's been used already, oh, and they've saved great. hundreds of lives. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. And, uh, and Kelly went down with you? Kelly went down. We unloaded the plane ourselves. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, it was very gratifying, and I think, in, you know, with what's gone on with us, it was great to reach out and help others. Well, you did this once with Katrina, right? I did, yes. Yeah, yes. in New Orleans. But what was this scene like there, John? Was it well, something the, you've never seen before? Well, the, the, the reports were of that. Now, the doctors that were already there were, were, were reporting severe conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's what gave me the bright idea of making sure that the supplies stayed with these doctors because you didn't really know what other supply, what happened to other supplies that could have been sure. uh, taken or, or misplaced There's or whatever. There's so much desperation there. Y yes, so desperate yes. People, so we know. made sure that in the orphanage, the mothers got the milk, got the diapers, the doctors got their medicines, got their, their surgical kits, and uh, they went to town, and they really made a difference. Mm. Jonathan Reese Myers was here, and oh, yeah? he, said, uh, he said, you know, you go, wow, what a, what a good thing to do, and he goes, it's not, and now he, he looks at things differently now. He said, it's not oh. a good thing to do, it's a John thing to do. Oh, uh -huh. Sweet. And something is really good like that. Yeah. That very, very, very Jonathan. He is a, a very generous soul, and mm -hmm. I adore that that guy. He he's a, not only a great actor, but he's a great guy too. Yeah, he's crazy yeah. about you, I'll tell oh, you. Thank you. So now uh, you fly this plane all over the world. I mean, do the producers? Does anybody worry about what's going on? Well, you know, they do. They make you sign a. Uh, you get your own insurance sometimes. Sometimes mm -hmm. they treat you to it, but it depends on the production. Right. <laughs> but uh, I've been flying so long, you know, and I take such good care of the aircraft that uh, they're usually... You uh, love it, don't you? I do love yeah, it. Yeah, You know, Kelly must think, that's got to be very sexy, you know, being... <laughs> no, my husband will fly us. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Not only that, but he wears the, wears the cap. I mean, yeah. it's the whole thing. You're the pilot. It's a very sexy thing. Love. I would think, as from a wife's point of view, when your husband... Because, you know, I like when my husband drives out to Long Island. I get yeah. excited by that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? John's got one other obsession that I really didn't know about, but I happen to share this obsession with him. Come on. Uh, it is late at night. Or me, or all day, for crying out loud, you can see these infomercials <laughs> yes. that are so intriguing. I want everything What's they show. What's your favorite one you know? right now? Okay, I've got it. First of all, the acting gets me. Oh, because it's great. Isn't it they're great? making such yeah. tremendous efforts to be natural. <laughs> and I get captivated by that. And then I sort of imagine, well, what if I had to do it first? How would I do it? And I get just sucked into that. And I, at the same time, I'm repelled by the product. Oh, are you? No, no, wait. No, it gets better. Uh -huh. I'm repelled by it. So I'm loving the, the acting thing. I'm repelled by the product. And then about the 15th time, I'm saying, well, maybe what are they talking about here? <laughs> and then I get slightly interested. I and then know. by the 50th time, I have to have the product. That's right. <laughs> and I have I the last three years. All I wanted was as seen on TV products. The thing that makes the sandwiches, yeah. the blender thing, the uh, the blender thing is remarkable. Yeah, and the, the, the thing about the as seen on TV is that they they are great products. Mm -hmm. And everything I've ever gotten, I get two or three of them, I've used, and, and to great success. So yeah. they really are. Even the, the pet egg has changed my life. Let's go right back to John Travolta in just a minute.
spreading a little love out there with the audience. Spreading the love. When it's there, you got to take it. Yeah, well, they love you. That's you know, sure. I was working on the lot where you guys were filming. Welcome back, Connie, years ago. I remember, remember that. that. Uh, where the heck was that, John? Of the uh, well, it was two plays. First, it was a Prospect and Talbot, right? Yes, that's yeah, right. For yeah. many years. Then. Sure. I used to see you walking around the lot, and this, of course, is what John looked like. Yeah. Welcome back, Connor. Welcome back. Vinny Barbarino, and I think this show started the whole career. It did. Yeah, It made absolutely. me uh, kind of a household world. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, this movie. Oh, Sorry my gosh. Oh my God. Tony Manero, Saturday Night TV. That movie has held up. I think all, the thing about your films, John, they all stand the test of time. They They're, do, don't yeah, they? they? I'm very do. proud about that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, I mean, your, your characters have changed so dramatically in the past few years. Pulp Fiction, another nomination. I noticed that hair styles play a big part. They're almost yes. like a separate character in they each are. of your films. You, you have to because the it's a visual medium, right. and you have to change your illusion each uh, character mm -hmm. because that entertains the audience with it. They, they buy into it much easier if you change the whole mm -hmm. appearance. Oh, look, sure. Like this one. <laughs> like this one right here. Talk about hair. Like How about this one? Simple. Hairspray. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I explained to her that you are uh, a man, and she most certainly told me that I was mistaken. <laughs> See? That's, what I, that's how good it was. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> and then this latest movie, you go entirely bald in this one, yes. right? And here we are, from Paris with Love. Did you like that? Well, mostly because everyone responded to no hair very well. I mean, yeah. we did an internet poll. It was 99% approval rating. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, th that's a welcoming uh, feeling to create a character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but that and then, bald look really gets uh, gets women, you know? They, they, they really enjoy it. And I never had anything. I used to worry about losing my hair. I never yeah, had anything to worry anymore. about. Not yeah. anymore. Because even I have been affected by it. Take a look at this. <laughs> you look pretty good. Not bad. That's not bad. Not bad. Incredible. That's that's cool. You know, they had to go back uh, to Paris to film some of these scenes here, and of course, you were married in Paris. Uh, right? I was at the Creon Hotel. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. that was wonderful. So go back and take a look at the. Uh, we did. We yeah. went to the room we were married. We went to. Uh, we stayed there a couple of nights. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, Paris is an amazing atmosphere to film a sure. movie. Just to, whether you're visiting or filming, it's it's marvelous. I tell you what, when we come back, we'll show you a clip from. Yeah. <laughs> John Travolta, who plays Charlie Wax, he's a wild F a CIA operative, and a one-man wrecking crew, huh? Yeah, he's a pretty <clears throat> roguish guy. He's, mm -hmm. you know, very out, unorthodox, you know. And he, he's got a, this younger guy who Jonathan Reese plays. Right. Mm -hmm. He's got him under his wing, and he, uh, he's uh, Jonathan's character is shocked by my character. He's Everything. like a by-the-book guy, right? Yeah, he's by-the-book, and, and, and But he I'm admires not. you so much. He wants to be you. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> who doesn't want to be John Travolta? Oh, <laughs> Do you do your own stunts in this? Because Charlie's okay, very active. This is a shocker. I showed up. This is the biggest action I've ever done as far as stunts. And I thought, well, they're not going to ask a man my age to do all these stunts. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Every stunt they had me do. And I said, no you know, if they shit. believe yeah. that I could do it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So did, I did. Did you get hurt at all? No. No. I didn't. Came through okay. Well, that's that dancing background. I, you know, you, you give stunts to a it guy. It helps who can, with everything, it, yeah, doesn't it? It does help yeah. with everything. Well, in this particular scene, you're taking your partner there, played by uh, Jonathan uh, Reese Myers, uh, to a top secret handoff, right? Yes, top All secret. All right, let's take a look at Charlie Wax in action. Why don't you have a seat here and reflect on our eventful day? What's the deal with the bag? Oh. What I got in this bag is gonna get me killed one day. You look pretty bulletproof to me. Reese, every man's got his vices. And in my case, the locals here call my vice a royale with cheese. Paris with Love opens on Friday. <laughs>
John, so good to have you here, buddy. Great to see you. Okay, okay, okay. Coming up next.